The latest site in Nairobi Metropolitan Area Land Report that surveyed 18 suburbs and 11 satellite towns between 2011 and 2016 indicates that on average, the cost of land rose 19.4%. Land prices rose the highest in commercial zones such as Kilimani, Upper Hill and Westlands recorded the highest capital appreciation increasing 24.3%. Analysts attribute the increased demand for land for commercial real estate given its high returns with rental yields averaging at at least 9% as compared to an average rental yield yield of 5% for residential developments. For commercial zones, Kilimani recorded the highest price change, that is 3.1 times from 2011 to 2016 price change. Kilimani is mainly due to realization of zoning regulations and its proximity to the amenities. Well, Upper Hill uh, recorded 2.5 seats uh, times change. This is mainly because investors and um, international corporations that are moving into other key nodes such as Westlands. State like towns such as Adi River, Ongatarungai, Siokimao, Mlolongo, Limuru and Dagureti recorded the second highest increase in land prices at 20% over the last five years. This was mainly due to improved trunk infrastructure, opening up the satellite towns for development as well as relaxed zoning regulations. For site and service schemes, they recorded the highest growth in comparison to set other and service land in satellite towns. Mainly the reason remains it's due to the value and due to the amenities and utilities being provided. High-rise residential areas such as Ridgeways, Kililisha and Kilimani recorded a five-year increase in land prices of 17.7%. On the other hand, the cost of land in low-rise residential areas such as Spring Valley, Kitusuru and Karen rose 14.6% due to restricting plot ratios on the land, hence limiting the return on investment on the land. On low-rise residential areas, Spring Valley and Kitusuru ranked the highest at 2.29 times and 2.18 times. Price change. Site and investment projects that Riru, Kikuyu, Kabete, and Dagureti are likely to experience the highest land price appreciation over the next five years due to the planned infrastructural developments.